Alright, here we go, round two. We're gonna do a performance analysis. Oh, we haven't started like this before. Maybe this is a different game type. Oh, this is just a different level. Oh, okay, cool. That was cool. There's no such thing as windows in this game. <laughs> Everything needs to be shot out. In the future, they don't have windows. Alright, so let's talk about the performance while I play. In a nutshell, this needs about the same kind of horsepower that I would say Battlefield 4 does. And meaning that I'm getting by with 8 gigabytes of RAM. And I do mean getting by. It's using about 7 gigabytes of, of it all day right now, including Windows and everything else that it has to run. Oh crap. So yeah, I'm using about 7 gigabytes of RAM at 4.5 gigahertz in 4 cores. It's using about 70 to 80 percent of the processor right now, the way it is. So that seems to be uh, pretty good. So if you weren't overclocked on the 2500K or similar chip, you're probably getting pretty close to 100 percent. Not sure if that would slow the game down a lot or bottleneck you, but it might. I thought I had that guy. Uh, graphics horsepower, again, 680, 1200 megahertz is used at between 80 and 90 percent right now. Um, with spikes to 100 when I turn around really quick, so I'm not sure if that's just not optimized yet, but you can see that it's definitely stuttering as some of this stuff happens. Now, this could also be due to the recording. So, the CPU, you can probably get away with a little bit since that's what's doing the leg work during the recording, not the graphics card. Okay. Um, and it's using all of the two gigabytes of video memory that I have. So I would say you're probably better off with three gigabytes of video memory if you can swing it. Alright. Ooh. Owned by a Titan. And that's what that looked like. That's me. Boom. In the face. Um I'm sure if I was not recording, the game would run like butter. Probably would be a good idea to turn the textures from insane down to just high. Because even the cynical Brit, Total Biscuit, was talking about on his dual SLI Titans wanting to turn some of that off. Um, yeah to him getting some issues. So that might just be the beta. That might be s something they can smooth out later on. Um, but right now, it's probably a good idea to turn that one setting down to high, that insane texture uh, setting. All right. But enough about performance. You've got the details on that now. I will put a full description of my PC in the list below. In the description below. So you can see the entire setup that I use, all the SSDs and all that stuff. Okay. What is the lead pilot? You're doing well. I must say, I'm impressed that it's pretty fun. 
How long will it be fun? I'm not sure. But as an initial impression, I'm having a good time. It's fast paced, but interesting at the same time. It's definitely got the Call of Duty feel to it, which isn't so good. But because it does so many things differently. Warning. Get the hell out of here. just straight up stepped on me. So what I was trying to do there is climb up onto his neck and shoot at his circuitry. Uh, like you've seen some of the other videos, but I don't know the combination of uh, key presses for that. But yeah, maybe next time. Oh, the nuclear. Yeah. That was cool to see though. So I guess when you get really close to the end, you can't spawn anymore. It just becomes a firefight with who's left. Which that's the interesting and kind of cool. So it's definitely more uh, aggressive and careless on this match. I just wanted to get in and see what's up. So it looks like you automatically cloak when you get out, or maybe everybody's doing that. I don't know. Dead last. No Titan kills. Wah wah wah.